I'm just here giving you advice. You do what you want with it, right? But anyway, you slice it. This turnkey house, man, this is a freaking earner. Down there, it's an awfully big kitchen. It's nice. Oh, I'm still falling. <laughs> Luckily, both of these tennis were. Ah. <laughs> we got it. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch to you, giving it to you straight. If you guys are looking for turnkey deals, you're in the right place, man. Check this one out. 1025 Wurtz. Canton, Ohio, y'all, 64.9, and look at the footage, man. Look at that freaking thing. That thing is glistening, y'all. Look at that exterior. That is a mighty purdy house, right? Mighty purdy, right? It's a, it's a good-looking house all around, right? It looks nice on the outside. It looks nice on the inside, right? You got that nice gray with the white. You got the wood floors. We're looking pretty fly, and more importantly than all of that, it looks nice on the wallet. It looks nice on a spreadsheet, y'all, because this thing is an earner, right? $64,900, and you get a tenant right now who's currently paying $800. they have been in there a little bit. And truth be told, uh, the mom and pop landlord that put them in there uh, has not kept up with rental rate increases because out here in Canton, much, well, I mean, let's be real, anywhere in the United States of America over the last like two to three years, uh, we've seen like an inflation that is uh, like historically insane, uh, which has done a whole bunch of historically crazy things to the housing market. One of those things, which is great for people like me, people like you, uh, is it has jacked up uh, the price of rents, right? So 800 probably felt like a pretty decent rental amount back when they put that tenant in there. But if you're not paying attention to what's going down, you're not keeping up with the market, uh, you wouldn't realize that you're actually leaving quite a bit on the table, right? Uh, $275 a month is uh, what we could comfortably add to that, right? So what I recommend doing is uh, giving that tenant a 30-day notice uh, that the rent's going up and maybe not go up the full 275. What I like to do is I like to kind of like split it, do it slowly because I don't like to do unit turns. Like, sure, don't get me wrong. Uh, you can see the footage. The property looks great. It's turnkey. It's nice. But like... It looks great. It looks nice right now on video, on camera, things like that. But like when that tenant actually does move out, folks, like all their furniture, the knickknacks they've hung, hung on the wall, you know, things like that, right? It, it's it's not gonna be just like, oh, they moved out. Let's change the locks and we'll get a new tenant, right? You're probably still gonna need to go in and like repaint the unit, right? And that's gonna cost you a little bit of coin, right? And then of course you gotta release it, and then you got lost rent for a month or two. So what I like to do. Instead of going uh, right from a below market rent all the way up to market, if it's like a huge increase like that, I like to go up a little bit so you get a little bit more profit, but it entices that tenant not to actually move out so we don't have to spend money on a turnover, uh, and then you get up to market the following year, right? That's how I would handle it. Of course, when you buy it, it's up to you. You can do whatever you like, but I have sold $200 million worth of real estate. I manage a $75 million real estate portfolio, and I've made mi uh, millions in this business doing just that. I think it makes the most sense, but hey, that's just me, man. I'm just here giving you advice. You do what you want with it, right? But anyway, you slice it. This turnkey house, man, this is a freaking earner. Nice little neighborhood down there in Canton. It's going to be a good deal. Only downside is I could only sell it to one of you. So if you want to be that one person, just send your offer to my team, sales at holdenwise.com. If you want to pay cash, great. Include your proof of funds. If you want to finance it, not a problem. Appraisal. No issues like that are, uh, you know, on the horizon. In my opinion, we should be good to go. You put down 25%, bake kicks in 75%, right? So if you want to finance it, just shoot me your offer, uh, the amount you want to offer, along with a pre-approval letter from your lender. And guess what, guys? I'm here to help. If you don't have a lender, I'll hook you up with my list of lenders. They will loan to anybody in the 50 states. Plus, we have people who will do loans for foreign nationals. Your terms won't be as attractive as those in the USA, but hey, uh, beggars can't be choosers. Most uh, foreign nationals know getting financed to buy U.S. real estate is normally a very difficult task. But here at Holton Wise, we are familiar with the process and we uh, have the resources to get you where you need to go. Let's go. 
No, I don't have any warts. I got a couple, two tree of them. Been touching a lot of frogs lately. <laughs> I've been licking frogs lately, trying to get. I've been trying to find a princess, but it turns out it doesn't work the other way. That's how you get warts, right? You piss on yourself. You can. Or is that how you get rid of them? That's how you get rid of. No. What? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Isn't that what people used to say? That no, that's for jellyfish, I think. No, I think it's for warts. Hey, can you protect yourself from jellyfish if you just pee in the ocean? That's an honest to god question. I don't know. Hell yeah, dude. MJ was here. <laughs> Uncle Jordan? Uh, Michael B. Jordan. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go get a couple, two, three uh, minutes of film. This looks great, Eric. Well, yeah. it doesn't look. Yeah, it's not. I, I tried doing this. It's at an angle. You, you can tell. Oh, that's a cool fountain! Thank or, you. I guess it's not technically a fountain, it's like a... Yeah. Okay. It would be, I think. That's cool. Alright, the kitchen. And then, I'm, is the basement off yeah, the kitchen? Yeah, it's gonna okay. go through to the right, down that. No, you're totally fine. It's just, uh, we're just gonna get the particulars okay. down there. It's an awfully big kitchen. It's nice. It's okay. Oh, no! I was trying to be so stealth. Okay, we, I forgot that this was down or like, Well, I saw it and I was like, I can totally duck under that. And I did, and then I immediately elbowed the broom. So other than this, how was your day going? Pretty good. Not too bad. I'm on my lunch break, but I took the late lunch, so I just got an hour and a half when I go back. And I'm nice. What? Nice. That's, I'm jealous. That's pretty sweet. You guys are from Cleveland, they said? Yeah. What he said? Yep. Okay. Oh, it's a good stop. We got pets, their heads are just falling heads off. Heads falling off. We got one more occupied one or one more? One more occupied one. Two vacants and vacants. So basically, one more occupied, we get some lunch, hit, hit Akron, hit those other two. One yeah. more occupied, and then we fuck around for two and a half hours. And don't forget. To, and then go to <laughs> don't forget. We got to. Uh, we got to talk about that thing. Oh, yeah. We'll do it on the. No, we'll do it on the. Uh, one of the vacants. Yeah. Because we can take time. Yeah. Oh god. Oh. I'm still falling. Luckily, both these tennis were. Ah. We gotta slow it down after this. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.